Yeah, hi guys. Um, just building another computer. Um, when it's done, I'll give you a bit of a rundown on the chassis of this machine because there's been a. It's one of those things. I I get a lot of things from eBay that when I get them, I've got to fix them. It gets a bit irritating, but yeah, no mind. So but I'll give you a little bit of a rundown about this particular MSI motherboard. Um, and this chassis, not the monitor, the monitor that's um, it's a brand new monitor still in the box um, for the friend of mine. This is just my uh, my spare monitor that I use just to chop machines together or just play with machines, whatever. Um, but this is this is what we've got for today in the box there. <coughs> Um, I'm quite looking forward to this because I've been building quite a lot of these little radio circuits and you know it's all sort of work and uh, they're alright when you think about it, it's just a couple of few components and so what I got here today is I saw on eBay um, I presume this is the destructions yep Okay, which is going to come in very handy. A little, uh, it's, isn't it nice to see some in instructions in the old uh, native language? Now, don't get me wrong, I don't mind uh, a bit of Mandarin. Um, I like oranges, pears, plums, and tomatoes also. There's a nice plum. Uh, so, that's a nice bit of easy to read um, instructions, but I can imagine that a lot of this is going to be uh, not too deep, not too hard to put together. So what have we got? Oh, I like that, I like the knob, I like the knob already. So let's get rid of the box and see what we got. I didn't just throw that across the room. I wouldn't do a thing like that. So here we are, some of the gummings. And got a little, little IC in there. Let's have a little closer look at what that is. Yeah, no idea. In here is the uh, main bit of interest to me. Little tiny. Isn't that a cute little tube? I mean, that's got to be one of the cutest. But you can see that. But anyway, this is what we got. A little socket. Blip, blip. So this is actually a tube crystal set and it can work in two different ways. One it can work directly as just a crystal set using no power whatsoever or you can chuck a, there's not an inductors, or you can chuck a chuck some power into it and have it as a tube valve crystal radio set. Um, well, it's got a really nice diodes. I do like that. Um, now the interesting thing about this is I'm not quite sure what this diode is. I'm going to have to look up this. Um, I'm just looking through the bit of paper now. Blah, blah, blah. I can see it on there but it doesn't it's not just saying to me what the actual diode is oh great you got a nice little circuit diagram here as well ok that's pretty good but again 
Please not tell me what the diode is. Now I did some research on diodes because I realised that they have different four voltages and I found out that these these are really good. These have uh, well when I I built a little circuit, a little crystal a little uh, crystal set circuit and I used the IM thirty four A and yeah it received you know I can get quite a few especially at night I get quite a few uh, radio stations uh, look at that the windows is uh, pretty much expanded all the files that's, uh, that's pretty fast it's got a Samsung uh, Evo yeah is it Evo uh, solid state drive in it so I'm hoping it is quite fast anyway back to the diodes and these uh, a 350 million uh, 350 millivolt forward voltage so when you are building a crystal set and you realize that some of your diodes are nearly a, nearly a one volt for forward voltage you want to get yourself something that has a lot smaller forward voltage on it and you'll find that the signal that comes through is not getting eaten up just by getting the device to work so That's it, that's all I got. That's, that's all I learned about them. <laughs> uh -oh. I'll give you the, the whole length and breadth of my knowledge. Okay, so this is more about operating the actual um, Yeah, this is more about operating the actual um, uh, the radio rather than the uh, you know, popping it in, uh, putting it together, popping it in, popping it in the So, what I need to make sure is that I get, I think they've got different value inductors here, or whatever these are. I presume they look a bit like inductors that I've used before. Um, Oh, and it's got a blue LED which lights up the back of the tube to so make it look pretty when it's in operation. I don't know if you've noticed, there's no aerial as such. The aerial I have to, I'm just going to use a long wire. To be fair, I've got several coils and that, that don't work. This works as an aerial. Uh, I get like four or five stations with this. I'm not in the greatest spot, I live in a bit of a dip. Um, and I'm surrounded by forestry. I've got a big like, uh, woods at the back of me, nature reserve in the front. So, and because I'm in a bit of a dip, I'm going to get quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of signal loss, I suppose. That's the word I'm looking for. All words. Yeah, L1, 2, 3, and 4, they are all inductors. Just are oh, they the same values? I don't know. I don't know what it does say. Put a bit of a look on the bands. Yeah, because they're sort of highlighted here. I think the bands. Okay. So, as per usual, what I'm going to do. Yeah, here we go. Look, band one, 470 micro Henry. I'm really glad I actually got my inductor meter so I can uh, know which one's on here. Even though they do put the bands there, which is great. I do like using the meter. Brilliant, uh, this is installed. Okay, so I'm just going to pause this for a second. I'm going to get Windows to carry on doing its thing. And I'm going to build this. If there's anything noteworthy, I will. Um, I will slow the speed down of the video because I'm going to put this together and I'm going to make you go quick so you don't have to do the boring thing like watching me put bits of salt on and, and cuss. Um, uh, so, yeah, let's give it a go.